Hi, my name is Aubrey High, and I'm a part of the Technical GIS Internship at GeoMarble. I recently graduated from Penn State with my bachelor's in Earth Science and a minor in GIS. I joined this program to further my skills in GIS and learn how to apply them to different industries. During my time here, I developed a product analyzing vegetative risk along transmission lines. I was interested in applying GIS and LiDAR technologies to the utilities industry, since it's one of the most crucial areas of everyday life. You rely on electricity in so many ways and in so many forms you often forget about the amount of work that goes into keeping these systems up and running. I used many of Esri's products during my analysis alongside some spatial Python packages like PDAL, GDAL, Shapely, and GeoPandas. These tools were essential to extract my three-dimensional LiDAR point cloud data and generate canopy height models that were then used to analyze and assess vegetative risk around the transmission lines. To showcase my work, I used Experience Builder to create a web app. This application walks you through the results of my risk and clustering analyses and allows you to visualize risk along two transmission lines in Center County, Pennsylvania. I also thought it would be beneficial to include a page explaining current utility vegetation management practices and ways of integrating GIS into the process. Using GIS as a tool to understand risk would reduce the overall costs of maintenance as utility companies could prioritize regions of high risk. It would also help in optimizing resource allocation, ensuring that the most vulnerable areas are addressed first, thereby minimizing the potential for outages and improving overall grid reliability. The interactive nature of the web app not only allows stakeholders to explore the data, but also provides a dynamic platform for visualizing how different factors contribute to risk. This approach can lead to more informed decision making and more effective vegetation management strategies, ultimately enhancing the safety and efficiency of transmission networks. I definitely had some setbacks during my project. Given that my personal computer is a MacBook and ArcGIS Pro only runs on Windows, I had to access it through a remote workstation, which I was incredibly grateful for, but that meant my data was across two devices, so it made organization a little bit difficult. I also had some issues with coding. I had never used ArcPy before, but I found it to be incredibly useful, and I'm glad that I got experience with the library because it was very beneficial towards building my project and um, Esri's ArcGIS and ArcPy platforms are the leaders of the geospatial industry. Overall, I'm incredibly grateful to have had this opportunity with GeoMarble. I appreciate all the mentorship and guidance I received from the team, and I felt that they really helped me grow professionally. The experience allowed me to deepen my understanding of GIS and its applications in the utility industry, and I gained valuable skills that will benefit me in my future career. Working alongside such knowledgeable and supportive professionals has truly been inspiring, and I'm confident that the lessons I've learned here will continue to influence my work for years.